Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Wells. Same gang with me to my left, my dog, Bishop Behan out the prairies. How you what, nasty? Cool and nasty. Let's pod. What's up, man? What you what you doing over there, man? Oh, that's Hennessy good today. My dog, <laughs> young Nacho, young T. How you what, man? I'm chilling, man. These was about a dough for show for show. Uh, these, these sevens. I'm in my seven mode right now. I'm gonna wear sevens for a little bit because <sighs> shit, why not? Damn, them was Denver one of the hardest sevens. That DMP pack, yeah, one of the craziest sevens. Um, I fuck with the OG Raptors too. The all black ones, mm-hmm. them is tough. Mm-hmm. Them is definitely hard. Before we got on the show, we was having a debate about our favorite seven. Uh, I don't know. You said yours was. Oh, me. I'm I'm fuck with the Olympic sevens. Olympic. Yours was. I'm the ghetto with the black and red. Yeah, uh, no, I don't know my shoes. Citrus. All right. Yeah, and I'm a fuck with the uh the Bordos. You know what's crazy? Like. Mike was really busting, like, Claude Drex last in them shoes, but they don't really talk about them that much. Nah, he really hooped in these. That's what the problem is. Like, I love the shoes that Jordan played in. Mm-hmm. I love those. Like, the other shit that people be wearing that he ain't ever hooped in, like, lightning fours and shit under all them, I'll be like, huh? It be kind of weird because it's like, I guess it's kind of like the same reason why, like, LeBron's shoes don't always hit the same is because, yeah, he had the fire colorways and shit, and we saw that shit when it dropped, but, like, he didn't have a lot of moments in all them shoes. Yeah. Jordan was really killing niggas in them shoes. Like, the infrared sixes is one of my favorites because he got the first ship, and he was murdering niggas in them. Damn. So I got a question. Yes, sir. What's the best Jordan to hoop in? Part one. Part two is, what's the best Jordan to put an outfit on with? So part one is the, if you going to hoop, What's Jay you put on? For me, it's the tens. Mm. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I didn't have I, shit. Ten has to be it, damn near. Unless yeah. it's the low tops. I fuck with the low top, i.e. elevens. Them kind of get a little jiggy, but the yeah. tens is perfect cushion and the bitches a little bit soft around the ankles. Yeah. Yeah, I fuck with the tens. I was a 14 nigga. To hoop in? Yeah. You got your black toes are black. You're a real big man. Your toes is black. Your Only toes is post. black, bro. Uh, 14s and 17s. What I hoop in. You can, you can hoop at eights, too. You, I you hoop just not going to be fast. I love hooping the eights. It's when you hit the shoulder shrug when you had them eights on. Yeah. I hooped the eights on. The black, and, the black and red 14 was my, was my go-to shoe all through high school. The most out of pocket Jordan I hooped in was the 15. Just because I was a power forward, I had a black black pair of Barclays I had to represent for the PS. <laughs> you did <laughs> number three second call. Oh, yeah. I hooped in Barclays. Yeah, 15s. Just, you should not have no toes. I don't. I would never take my socks off because <laughs> I hooped in 15s. I hooped in some black and white and gold with the graffiti. The laser ones. Yeah, the laser joints. I hooped uh, in them in college. My walkers are still. Feet together. Toes fucked up from them yeah, 15s. Nah, I, don't. I don't know why. Dude. I did that NC State too, and we lost. Damn. Bad time. My shit look like I'm fresh out of a baby crib. I'm good. <laughs> What's the best one to put a fit on with, though? Ones. Uh, mm, a fit? A fit. Uh, the one light shit. We going out, nigga. You about to put your Four. fit on. And you can only wear a J. Four or six? Mm-mm. Ones or fours. It got to be ones, though. Well, cause yeah, ones, you can do a lot with ones. You do a lot. And there's a lot of them, though. So yeah, I'll yeah. give you a one. So a two is out of pocket with some jeans? No. I'm not. No. I like twos, though. Low twos, for sure. No, I'm saying you could get off the low twos. The highs, you, you, you kind of pushing it. But I fuck with twos. I fuck with twos, too. I was going to say, honestly, if I had to, I, not, because you said 10 already, that two is not a bad shoe to hoop in either. Because it's, it's definitely soft as hell. But you hooping a three? One through 14, you damn near can get a fit off. But one through 14. Ooh. You can get a fit off in nines. The tens is the only ones where tens you is like you got a sweat a sweat outfit. Like yeah, a sweat fit is cool. I'm talking about like if we going to the club. I think you putting on some tens is kind of out of pocket. Yeah, you out you of getting pocket. a fit off and going to the club. I mean, nines strictly, is really crazy. Nah, strictly you can a get a fit off in some nines though. Oh, Which ones? Dude, Especially the cool grays, the black and white ones. Shit, you can get a fit off in some nines, bro. It just depends <laughs> how you rock your shit. Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> nah, you gotta be. Uh, you might need a stylist. Nah. I guess I might buy I just my nigga. <laughs> so niggas ain't putting fits together with the uh, sky blue and white ones. They been rocking. They, I seen niggas. Every nigga I've seen with that that shoe has an airbrush shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen nothing but RP yeah, shirts with the shoe. Go wild now, bro. <laughs> a nine niggas. with a fit. Ooh. The powder blue nines is fire. Bro. I'm telling you, you can get a fit off. Mm. That's why I just had that question. Twelves is a tough. 
Twelve is a tough cover. That's a, that's a sweat. That's a tough cover. That's a sweat shoe. But yeah, thirteen is a tough cover too. Oh, now the thirteen <laughs> might be the toughest. <laughs> thirteen, you out of pocket with jeans. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough uh, cover. You gotta a have 12, some shoes on. A flu game twelve with a nice black jean. Um, that's a tough cover, man. <laughs> That motherfucker got With a cover nice black jean, and you might have to. You gotta have them a size smaller. If yours your true size, your feet gonna look crazy in the twelve, bro. You that gotta go. A size, you gotta go a size smaller just to, for the look, bro. <laughs> your jeans gotta fit right, and I think you can do an all black for that night. Yeah, I mean you can. You can. I ain't. You ain't gonna be the freshest nigga in the room, but you. Nah, nah, but you. You were. You were eligible to get in the club for sure. A nine is kind of hard, bro. You can right. get it. I'm telling y'all, y'all can get a nine on. Uh, all gray nine. It Woo! The white laces. <laughs> Oof. Oh, you can get that off, bro. You just got to how you dress it up. Okay. But I, I ain't going to lie. 13. Hey, good. Put the fit together for us, bro. With, 13, the, with the nine, my nigga. 13 going to be crazy. Because if you put the he got games on, put some sweatpants on. Yeah. You, got flint, you can't. Nah, you can't flint. With if, you, if you get fresh to flint, you out of pocket. I love that thirteen. Out of pocket. As a Cowboys fan, I he hate don't that really shit. fuck with him, but I love that. Like my nigga Bubby, the only nigga I ever seen rock thirteens with a fit. With some jeans. Yeah, that's the old Bubby. That's the old one. <laughs> my nigga Bubby had a thirteen. Though. That's Bubby. I mean, I seen niggas put fits together with the thirteen. Everybody put fits together with Jordans every weekend. Yeah. But they gonna okay. they gonna kill us. They said niggas not supposed to be wearing jeans and Jordans. <laughs> Who said that? That's what they're saying, bro. That's on the net for Jordan. sure. So, damn, it's not LeBron. Hey, <laughs> no, where LeBron's a club? To, wow, George Aquila to bronze. That's crazy. Damn. All right, before we get off the side, what's worse? LeBron's the jeans or Jordan's with the jeans? Oh, LeBron. <laughs> That's a no-brainer. I seen Wale get some fits off with the bronze, though. Wale is a dressing-ass nigga. <laughs> Wale about to get some more fits off. <laughs> Cause, Cause Meek Mill is on his ass. <laughs> he he was tweeting the wildest shit this morning for no reason. <laughs> Meek was going nuts. He woke up with violence on his heart, bro. He hates Wale. But, and Wale don't like him. But and you know, I don't know why they beefing, and I guess cause Wale is hanging with the ops. But I wanna know like why is Wale taking pictures with motherfuckers who know. They want to kill Meek Mill. That's supposed to be your man. But I seen, this is my thing. I seen what he said though. He was like, "Them niggas was cool," and he was like, "I don't get in between people beef because if I got pick a side, and them niggas gonna be friends next week." Ah, uh, I respect that though. That's from Wale. <laughs> yeah, Wale, okay. Wale said that. Said that. Wale. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, that's why I didn't know nothing about it. If that's the case, fair enough. Yeah, like if I seen y'all too. Y'all was cool and y'all broke up. I mean, bro, pause. But y'all niggas ain't y'all niggas ain't cool no more. Oh man, no mic here. And I met y'all together. Man, I'm still down. I, I'm still that DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, what's up, bro? Even though I fuck with you first, like, who's you, know you picking old ass nigga? I'm just saying. I'm with that both. I'm, Hold up, nigga. Cause then you know what? I'll be like, damn, I don't fuck with DJ no more. And then nah, you right. Y'all niggas gonna be shaking hands at the club. DJ gonna be looking at me like, nah, nigga, I had seen you that night when BN wasn't there, and you act like you couldn't say what up. Nah, yeah. Like, nah, I mean, nah. I feel like pause, but I'm in the middle of some shit like that now. Damn. Yeah, you are. Hendrix experiences. <laughs> Was like, the next uh, one April 21st. <laughs> and it's on some shit on that level, though. So, I see. Yeah. But, you know, I don't get in between none of that shit because it don't have nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? But I just hate to see me. Y'all done did this before, bro. If this was new, it's then motherfuckers times. would be like, damn, bro. Mm -hmm. Maybe Wale is out of pocket, but you done already had this run with this nigga, bro. Either y'all gonna be cool or not. Like, Ross can't heal this shit now. Cause it's gonna look phony from here on. No, out. I mean, Meek, they probably really ain't fuck with each other anyway. Meek, nah, Meek won't smoke with Wale. Wale ain't, probably ain't. Even it's just bad shit. timing for me to be beef with anybody, bro. Man, the crazy thing about that whole MMG experience is that if you paid attention around that time period, they weren't the first two people that Ross had picked for that group. So it did never made sense why everybody was like, "Why don't they get along?" Well, if you really know, they weren't the people that he really chose for that shit. He wanted with and currency. That didn't work out. He tried to get Nip and Dom. That didn't work out. He got them two. And I don't think anybody outside of Rick Ross really run from that relationship. I don't think MMG did that much for either one of them. I think their careers would have been different. But, They're both obviously super successful, but... See, that's tough for me, DJ, because I feel like Meek had a big buzz on the East Coast, but when he got with Ross, that's when his Southern 
is West Coast. Mm-hmm. His shit took off. He became mm-hmm. a bigger artist. While they had the whole DMV area, basically the East Coast too. When they got Ross, they plummeted. So I, you know, I ain't saying you wrong about who he tried to get first, but once he got him, that's who we looked at as MMG. The next up, they were the next goddamn Cash Money us as adults in that in that time frame. I agree. I just think that. And the high side of things, it all worked out for Ross more than it did them. Obviously, it definitely did for some for both of their careers because obviously it definitely helped them. I think Wale would have been in a different conversation space had he not been MMG, but it definitely worked for me. But I feel like they was both stars, but they still kind of got held back from that shit. I don't think they got held back. I think because Wale was such a backpack rapper and like he had a unique style, it was going to mm-hmm. keep him underground. Ross brought him... The mainstream, bro. Yeah. I don't think he would have ever went mainstream because he had a deal before he signed, you know, yeah, Nike boot Ross, all that. And he wasn't, he had a buzz where he was from in the East Coast area. Yeah. But I wasn't really tapped in until he started fucking with Ross. And I think that's like majority of the world, I would say. That's real. Yeah, yeah. my my niggas, Wag, hey, good. They, they really put me on while they. Before he blew up, because niggas, he was the phone positive guy and all that shit. That's all we used to talk about back in the day. But I just feel like Ross helped them niggas reach a whole nother level. And he's like, I got y'all here. Not saying it, but like, now y'all go start Dream Chasers. While like, you go start whatever your shit is no called, bro. And let's keep the shit going. Ross, MMG is supposed to be how CMG is right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hold on, which one of your niggas love Wale? What? Yeah, and Wag, hey, good, hey, for good. sure. Uh, for sure. Wag, nah, he, I remember he told me he was better than Drake. That's Wag. I that was said, Wag, I remember smoking, that. You smoking good pot. Hold on, I don't know what. Be him mixing in this Henny lemonade. Oh, boy, you, you tripping, hey, bro. bro. My niggas really like, it what put Drake on the back burner is when, you know, Quentin yeah. came out and said, so... They been Wale fans forever, bro. Nah, they was... So nah, I get, because Wale is the... OG R and B. Yeah, he was. No, nah, he was on that for sure. And yeah. outside of music, Wale influence don't get talked about enough. Fashion wise, bro, is I know he fresh. He lead. Sneaker wise too, like yes, bro. When I see him get the fit off with the seventeens, I say, yeah. <clears throat> but the lightness, bro. Yeah. He's in heaven. Yeah. I say, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he he's different. a dressing ass nigga. And we gonna talk about sure. WrestleMania later, but Wale Mania, bro, that's that's different, bro. Yeah, that's tough. I just feel like that their emotions. Like stop them from growing to the ceiling, bro. Yeah. Like money bag yo is like huge right now. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's where Meek is supposed. To, that's crazy. <laughs> but I'm just, I'm saying. I'm just saying. I, yeah, pause, speak bro. It. I'm not real speak shit. Your though, truth, like, King. <laughs> nah, don't do too much. Slow down. I'm trying to have a good show. <laughs> I'm saying like Meek Mill is was supposed to be that, bro. Like turn up, bro. Have fun. Moneybag ain't worried about no other nigga. He ain't hopping in no beef. He ain't beefing with Finesse and them. Like, CMG is what's supposed to be what MMG is supposed to be what CMG is today, bro. I can see that. I think the problem with Meek is that Meek's talent is so up here, but the ridiculous shit he does is so up here, too, that low-key at time cancels that, it out, that bro. That fucking Nicki relationship blew it, bro. I knew it. He should not be on Twitter. Even though I love it for my own personal benefit, he should not be on Twitter. Because the shit that he says on there, we be like, come on, Meek. Every time we try to take you seriously about stuff, bro, you do this shit. Obviously, outside of Meek and Wale having their back and forth, hey, man, he's had two videos this week that have completely confused me. One, him and that fucking fur dancing. What the fuck was that? And also him yelling for The Rock to get up was absolutely ridiculous. Out of pocket, bro. Get up, Rock. You know he ain't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it real. You How know many he, years have you watched wrestling? You know he not hurt. Like, don't do that. But speaking of wrestling, though, WrestleMania was a Saturday WrestleMania, the first day. Two-day event. It's fire. It, yeah, it's fire. But that Saturday was shaky. It was too cold out there. The crowd couldn't get into it. It was shaky. But that second day, that Sunday, mm. they outdid themselves. I was hyped to see the women wrestle on Saturday, though. Jay and them, the black girls. That's just fire. Their, yeah, they did their Weak. thing. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, they, wait a minute. They had a good performance. Why oh, I, I don't care about their performance. I'm talking about them. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to ruin y'all moment. Shout out to Jay. No, go crazy about the rest. I know y'all. Yeah, you know, you're tripping right now. Niggas bumping bodies and 
slamming each other, putting their arms between niggas' legs and dumping them on the ground. <laughs> get up, Rock. Yeah, <laughs> niggas saying get up, Rock, and niggas is just playing. No, that's dead. just me. Nobody else is saying that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a crazy event. pause. Get up, Rock. Pause. You gotta that say pause. That's nuts. That out is crazy. I'm out of pocket. Yeah. So is me. Because I, I used to tap my shit. <laughs> hey, man. I'm not looking at what the rest of that All right, well, Russell, I'm going to tell you how I had a win. Roman Reigns lost the universal title. Up, he lost the title to Cody Rose in a, a grand fashion. We had John Cena come out. We had the Usos come out. Seth Rollins came back out. Uh, <laughs> the fucking Undertaker. <laughs> Undertaker came out, choke slam, rock. Cody Rhodes win, big win for Cody. He's a of the new era of WWE. He's a champ. He's running shit. Uh, what's my nigga name? McIntyre. He uh finally beat shit. Who he beat? I don't know. Forgot. But him and CM <laughs> Punk got beef. CM Punk end up getting into it, and then Damian Priest come out for Money in the Bank. End up cashing in. Knocking McIntyre out, win the belt. Now, uh, Damian Priest is the heavyweight champ. So, had a lot of shit going on. So, my nigga really be tapped into that shit. Hey, man. Yeah. WrestleMania is a big deal. Having the two day event is fire. Having oh, the two day yeah. event. Yeah, is Seth Rollins fire. lost to, yeah, to uh, McIntyre. Yeah. Who's saying I should speak to the, uh, to the hospital? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, Randy Orton. The YouTuber? Stupid yeah, RKO. Yeah, yeah, RKO on uh, the Speed. Hold on, hold on. Program. The YouTuber Speed yeah, yeah. was in? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, now, yeah. WrestleMania was good. Coco Jones and National. Hey, yeah. they they spend that budget, bro. Oh, that's what's up. The yeah, Rock right became so. a uh, company shareholder and said, nah, we about to turn this bitch back up. They going to be on Netflix soon again? Yeah. Damn, Speed doing his thing. That's right. crazy. Randy Orton him with an RKO on the table. He was out. <laughs> he was, took a picture with a neck brace on. Damn. Talking about wrestling's real. <laughs> Shout out to that. That was hard. Uh, he also else? had the prime bottle on too. Which yeah. made <laughs> what else went on? Prime getting. Yeah, I got yeah, speed got on WrestleMania. Hell what bro. else got a lot of promo? Two chains was there. Yes, sir. Uh, did Snoop do the announcements? Shit, I don't. I ain't here. Snoop, Snoop. Snoop did the announcements. Okay. okay. Hey, Shout out to Snoop. Listen, they got that budget. Yeah, WrestleMania get it fucked was, up. WrestleMania. Oh, was I know good. the money is long for sure. Uh, my boy, the Usos, they went against each other. Yeet won. That's his name. Saying Yeet. That's no, crazy. I thought they got the rapper. No, they be saying yeet. That was his little thing. I you know what's funny though. <laughs> somebody, somebody was like, damn. <laughs> what's the nigga that J. Cole went against uh, when he dissed him? His like, little pump was right. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, shit. <laughs> nah, My little pump me. was right. Because <laughs> J. Cole apologized. <laughs> He's like, damn, we should listen to Lil Pump, not J. Cole. That's I was crazy. shitty, man. <laughs> Where's Lil Pump? <laughs> he just got punched by Jake Paul. That's the nigga who took the kidney shot from Jake Paul. It All is. Right. Shout out to Lil Pump, man. <laughs> yes. That's my wrestling info. Wrestling take. Uh, raw shit. I ain't get to watch because we was doing this. Without a ball, it's just a court. Without your spirit, it's only a game. So together with the fans, we bring our best. Hennessy is excited to celebrate the intersection of basketball with art, music, and fashion. Each of these elements of culture represent ways that fans, players, supporters pay homage to the game, both on and off the court. Hennessy and Mitchell and us have come together for the ultimate drop, a limited edition collection to mark their shared love for basketball culture and to celebrate Hennessy's continued partnership with the league. The exclusive collection will have a limited drop available for both in retail and online and will be featured on the Hennessy Arena Tour, making stops in San Francisco, Saturday, March 9th, Dallas, Sunday, March 17th, Atlanta, Saturday, March 30th. Come see Club 520 Podcast tape live in each city. For your next pregame, let's share a twist on the classic, the Hennessy Margarita. A squeeze of fresh lime juice. And a bit of agave syrup. Top it off with some ice and a salted rim. Mix it, shake it, pour. And enjoy the spirit of the NBA. Hennessy. Without your spirit, it's only a game. 21 and over only. Please drink responsibly. My nigga, Jermaine Cole. Uh, what the fuck, man? Yeah, I mean, y'all got to stand on it now, y'all. Nah, That's y'all nigga. Saying, What's wrong with what he did, though? Uh, Everything. What? Why you apologize? I'm gonna sit my hand. Cause yeah. you got you gotta really think about it. That was that's his man's though. I think he was more like you weren't <clears> really <throat> coming at me. You was more trying to battle Drake. I shouldn't even got into it until you said my name. Really, I don't disagree. But then you put that song out. It just has to be. It it wasn't like it was that bad. It wasn't that bad, but he, you know how he is. He probably like man. I don't get into that kind of shit. I don't even know why I did. I let y'all gas me up. To throw some shit out there that I really ain't even on. I ain't even on that. 
<laughs> you know what's crazy? That ain't stopping Kendrick from responding. He's going to respond. I mean, he is. Yeah, but, like, man, y'all know how J. Cole, that nigga do not care about this shit. He said that, too. He yeah, did. Like, I just don't okay. get the whole, he got my jaw out, bro. You hit me right here. Like, I just, bro, you you made the tape. The tape is fire, too. You made the seven-minute freestyle, whatever you call it, bro. Just keep going. You didn't say... I fucked your mama, then I hit your sister, and then da da da. It was clean for real. But he, he so you apologizing it? Is, yeah, I call it different though. Yeah. I like him say, hey, yeah. By the way, them CDs is fucking trash, nigga. He said that. He did. In so no. many words. But I'm like apologizing, bro. You ain't do nothing. But you gotta think them niggas was really cool though. Like Drake and Kendrick, I ain't never heard them on a track together. If I did, I can't remember. Besides, uh, buried alive intro, which is yeah, it's but, a couple. But they don't have a real relationship. Yeah. Kendrick probably like, no, nah, nigga. Too late. Stay over there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I think he's trying to let y'all know, like, I don't got no side. I'm I'm me. Like, I ain't with him. Here's my problem. Oh, that's you not... can't say that number one shit. You can't say that number one shit because Kendrick is about to say some shit and now you're not number one no more. I don't want to hear you say number one no more. Yeah, you, don't don't, care. you can't you can't say number one. He said I'm the I, he just I think he feel like, bro, I got groups in. And I let people gas me like he was coming at me and both of us like we was a group, nigga. I just went on tour with this nigga. It's not who I hang with all the time. Like, Drake just cool. Like, I'm a cool nigga. I would have went on tour with you, Kendrick, if we would have had a tour. Like, I'm cool with both of y'all. But I got grouped in with this nigga. And my dumb ass listened to the internet people and I done jumped out there. Drake Drake ain't even jumped. I done jumped out there before Drake and he ain't even talking about me really. He talking about you. You the goofy with the chick. I'm with Puma. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, That's who Cole with. Yeah. Yeah, send some mellows, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what, you know what make me shitty, bro? You know that commercial or the dude would tell the referee the ball was out on me? That's yeah. how I felt like when I seen Cole do that. I was pissed. <laughs> man. My nigga, it was your time to shine. I've been waiting, bro. Yeah, bro. And you do some shit like this, That man. ain't even his style, though, bro. I'm not mad at him for it, but it's him like, damn, I man. I feel like J. Cole be talking shit, bro. Yeah, but y'all know Cole. It is hoop shit. Yeah, but y'all know Cole, that ain't his style. He's more of a for the people. I, I just don't want Kendrick to come out with a crazy ass verse to kill my nigga. I'm gonna feel like, damn, bro, you can't even respond because you say you don't want to do this. He no probably more. ain't gonna kill Cole. He, he really want to kill Drake, bro. I think he feel probably like Cole. Yeah, I think we're just, nigga, I don't know, but to me, I just feel like as adults, we're too old to be saying a nigga gas me up to do something. Mm. And you Dang. make a whole yeah. tape. whole world, though, bro. That's the world, bro. The whole world was on Nigga, y'all gas break. me up to say crazy shit on here every day. Hey, tell that shit. Hey, tell that motherfucker right there. <laughs> and I get on here, y'all give me a splash of agave, and boom. <laughs> Mix it, shake it. <laughs> Next splash you know, of agave don't have no liquor in it. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm out here telling motherfucker, nah. referee call my mama ho. Like, nah. That was crazy. You know what's funny? <laughs> that was not inspired by nothing. <laughs> uh, I, I low key still. That was on the heart. I really want to bump. Yeah. Or, like, yeah. You really, still hold that against Buddy. Yeah, I really want. That ain't no J. Cole Kendrick beef. Nah, that, you, nah that, you not apologizing about that. Nah, nah. I, ain't. Yeah, I still want to smoke. For real, for real. Hey, you know what's funny? Somebody we know was just like, next game, I'm going to ask a nigga about that. Yeah, I, I can't, can't wait till we get that report back. Yeah. But I said, bro, it's almost playoff I wish, though, that they would just keep it rap, bro, just because we miss that in rap. I hate drama and all that shit, but that's good for the sport. It's fun. Mm-hmm. Like, and we know y'all friends, bro. It's like niggas when we join on each other, bro. It ain't no, we do that. We just having fun, bro. Keep the sport going. And niggas hoop, like you in the league, you killing niggas like, yeah, it's my dog, but I busted his ass. Like, shit, it happens, bro. Yeah, but it's different because the way, like, they got on picking sides, bro. It's mm-hmm. real life niggas choosing sides. Like, you can't, if you don't fuck with him, you can't fuck with him. I think and, why it's weird for me, though, is because it's not, ain't nobody finna die. Nah, <laughs> but you know how a nigga, they damn near, they damn near tricked me last episode. Because I, I like Cole and them. And I like, Ken, but I like Kendrick. They had me pick a side. I'm like, I don't like Drake no more. <laughs> you out, out of nowhere. So who had you doing it? Nigga, just the world. Nigga. I don't know. The world. I you tricked know what myself. I'm saying? Like, I got tricked. Like the world just tricked me. Like fuck all that, niggas, bro. I see motherfuckers writing me on uh, Instagram like, you just switch up on Drake like that after you said he was better than Michael Jackson. I'm like, damn, y'all bitches did trick me. 
<laughs> DJ said it like, damn. I was like, damn, I, I, I was like, damn. damn. Cold and so I'm that like, was goddamn, kids take. burst and trick me out my goddamn. I, that's what I'm saying. Shit like that. It's okay now. Like, like Lou said, when we even told him to pick a side, he probably like, nigga, what y'all on? Like, but, I, but this is what I will say, or what I will ask y'all. What's your rankings now? <laughs> Niggas got a, a new start. What are y'all rankings now? Still the same for me. Yeah, it's still the same. Still the same for me. Okay. I respect that. If y'all standing on that, I fuck nah, with Nah, Carlos okay. still like that now. It ain't like he put out a whack project. That nigga just don't want no beef. He and, just don't want to be a part of the clown, the circus, really. And also, if he's doing that, which is I think is fucking ridiculous still, he's about to drop a fire-ass album. Who, Cole? Yeah. He's about to drop a fire-ass album, and it ain't gonna matter. Hey, y'all know who started all this shit? The God. Future Hendrick started all this shit. <laughs> it ain't nobody taking shots at my nigga. He oh, no, Drake got, a, Drake got a whole tape. He about to... He better go crazy. He about to go at... You know who he going at, Metro and Future first. That's He'll get to Kendrick though. later. He gonna go at Metro and Future first. You think it's gonna be another... Metro! Huh? The, the new Future and Metro album drops Friday, and I... Listen, if there's another Kendrick verse, that would be fucking crazy. That would be fucking crazy. If they have I, another verse. My nigga's the goal, bro. If they have another verse from Kendrick on there, like, it's... I highly doubt it, but they, that would be they crazy. They crazy. They wildin' out. If niggas just make another anthem and niggas on there talking greasy, it's up, bro. They bro. already got song of the year for the club. Like that's crazy. Nah, I thought Sexy Red did. Get it, Sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my side, bitch. <laughs> Sexy red. <laughs> That's your side. I'm trash. <laughs> Who pays child support in that situation? If sexy red just hobbies. Get it sexy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bullshit. Hey, you fuck sexy nah, with your but... shoes on, still. You want to take your nah. shoes off? I might do it like you did. <laughs> in the nines? <laughs> no. My boy said barefoot. <laughs> If you, I, if you I better put sexy, I'm you out of pocket. Sexy red out in front of 903 on the concrete. <laughs> not, not barefoot in 903. Outside the chalet, blue paint on the way. <laughs> what's are you what's playing, the name of the paint? Are you playing our song on there? Are y'all playing getting sexy outside? With the doors. <laughs> Hey, have a Lamborghini door <laughs> on the challenge. Uh, yeah, my shit like, bro, what's, what's bro car? Remember, bro had the, uh, our boy, <laughs> Andre. <laughs> he had the limbo. <laughs> Andre was had the limbo. And I, yeah, he had Lamborghini door. He said, it's a Diablo. <laughs> they had to take that Toyota Camry with the... <laughs> hey! So why nigga, she knuckle, be- I love Dre. Dre, you know you my nigga. But Knuckles say he had a Lamborghini behind the doors, nigga. <laughs> Oh, that's crying, bro. oh shit. That's one of the funniest moments of my life. Bro, y'all y'all done. Boy, Dre, bro. Y'all no, crazy. we don't have no side. This is just jokes, y'all. Don't get all get it sexy. <laughs> <laughs> my auntie and watching this motherfucker. We just talking crazy. Hey, but um, uh, Glow and Megan, they're running. They trying to make a run if they get a sexy song. That With motherfucking the- challenge, man. Y'all see Johnny Blaze? I didn't watch, but man. You usually send me the shit. I send it to you. Yeah. Oh what well, I usually send you, bro. <laughs> what well, I usually send you, the bro. Challenge videos. <laughs> you never... sent the money back already to me. <laughs> they had a challenge. Oh, that's fine, bro. That nigga just be lying. <laughs> See, that's how you don't even lie. You know they had a challenge. <laughs> he lied. What challenge they had? Nah, what what happened? I said though. Because I, <laughs> I nah, usually he usually he's a damn warrior. <laughs> He does everything through Instagram. I don't even got Instagram, bro. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> DJ run my Instagram. You see the collab? <laughs> All I do is collab. <laughs> All I do is collab. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. Now nah, they got a challenge for real, though. I ain't seen it yet. That's fine. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We talking throwing about the, the girls money, twerking in the bo- you- I, I ain't see yeah. theirs, but I'm talking about the girls twerking on the joint. Yeah. Kayla saying, I seen Kayla post it today. For sure. Yeah, I was like, what is My this? nigga Kayla tapped in. That but I ain't, see, I ain't see the, uh, I think he might have just been making a stallion on that one. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's lit. City girls, they know what I'm saying? They beefing, ain't they? Yeah. Everybody in Red Wild this week, man. Do we care about that beef? No. I don't. I, just roll out. I, I think I. Girls fall out every week. Yeah, but I, you, y'all know, I fuck with uh, Carisha, but JT is more the chill, like, 
reserved one. So if they fall out, it got to be about something because she don't turn up often. Go oh, to roll out. Is their career over? Because like <laughs> Sexy Red, Glorilla, Cardi, all them is coming out right now. I really don't want to hear from them. Grisha group. fighting yeah. cases. Yeah, I guess they yeah, go through real shit. Case, but yeah. no, nah, I mean it's it's a it's a movement right now that it, I mean, easy said it done. If niggas just kind of like get along, they'll be right back in the mix of shit because they still talking about the same shit. Yeah, that can make it work. And it's the summertime. I ain't gonna lie, sexy red though. I, I kind of fuck with her music. I don't really know it, but like her beats be be slapping though. Hey. I don't know what she be saying. I don't. I, but if you hear her beat, it be kind of like crazy. But I can't. I listen to Glorilla album. I can't do that. If she got like three songs. It ain't for you. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't for you. Yeah, I'm gonna let the girls pick what's yeah. good because I don't know about that. As long as it's slapping the club, I'm with it. Go she had it. one song yeah. with some nigga, bitch, uh, nigga. So it was something like that. She just said nigga all the time. I was like, all right. She can really rap to me. Gloria. Yeah, Gloria can rap. Her middle name is Hallelujah. So I think that's why we connect. <laughs> that's a lit. That's, that's a, a far ass. Gloria Hallelujah. Oh, I'm going by my middle name. My name is Hallelujah. That's, that's her middle oh, name. Gloria Hallelujah Woods, ain't it? Damn, Woods, I don't know. That's crazy. Yeah. She, she said Tiger Woods, her cousin. Damn. They're not related. Not at all. I ain't no telling, bro. Hallelujah. That's a filthy lineage if they are. Her name is Hallelujah in the middle. She got, I listened to her. I gave it a spin. She said she didn't sleep into her in a real bed till she was 15. I said, damn, bitch, she should have went to the group home. <laughs> <laughs> they got to take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, my they just took her middle name back. She talking about she couldn't understand why nobody didn't want. They should get nobody could spend that at her house. Nigga, now you know. Uh, you playing you, too you much. You watch now. TV, right? Everybody sleep on beds, <laughs> yes. nigga. Yeah, nigga. You want an air mattress? <laughs> nigga. Hey, everybody had that one friend. We know we wouldn't sleep over his house. On, it's right, okay. Right, right. Shout, Shout out to him. her brother poking a hole in the air mattresses though. Yeah, like <laughs> that yo. nigga shared his head. <laughs> your back is trash. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta sleep on the floor that long. Yeah, like, bro, stop playing. She, <laughs> hey, Shannon Sharp, it's not Shannon's fault, but the people who are giving him that sheet, y'all have to be, y'all have to be talked to for the things y'all been doing, man. Y'all been wilding. Asking crazy. that question is crazy. But why is she sleeping on an air mattress? Bro? Why did he poke a hole in it? Bro, they are poor, bro. <laughs> How old is Glow Glo- Really? Probably 25. Bro. 25. Yeah, bro. There's so many other shit to sleep on. Now. Not when you poor, bro. Oh, no, air mattresses when we was hey, little, bro. Come on, all right. See, now let's hey. talk. See, the problem is... <laughs> this is why Two episodes ago, y'all got that mattress left. on the side of the road. <laughs> this is... Nigga, I, I, bro, on my mama, bro. You get in Atlanta, Georgia, in Smyrna, bro. They sold mattresses on the side of the road for 50. Bro, cool, bro. She is from Memphis, Tennessee. I know they got mattresses You, for you know, it's hard out here for a pimp. <laughs> what movie is that? Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Flow, bro. She bro, is that from air that mattress city. costs $28, bro. And to get it fixed, they talking about her dad was getting shit to plug it back up. Bro, you spend a 10, bro. Just go get the mattress. Catch an air bro. mattress is crazy. Go get the mattress for 50, bro. Well, you're poor, bro. <laughs> bro, they not that poor, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're not that say poor, that. bro. Because you can spend 50 on that. You can't say that. Yeah, what I can, the fuck, bro? Because you telling me you getting money to go patch it back up, bro. He buying the patch. <laughs> no, Tay. YouTube tired repair shit. However, yeah. uh, that nigga put Fix a Flat in the air mattress. Man, I'm nothing. He, he cold. He should have worked at fucking <laughs> Jiffy Lube. He doing all that shit. Nigga didn't fix fucking. <laughs> and you know, and we never know her family circumstances, bro. Like, like I said, the nigga. I hate bringing this up all the time, but it just brings you back to people being poor. Pursuit of happiness, bro. Yeah, act like it's so many outlets for people to have, bro. <laughs> he had a we reason, wouldn't bro. have the homeless people wouldn't be outside. They wouldn't fill these corners like they would, bro. If it was that many options for them to have, bro. bro I ain't saying that she, bro. I'm just saying, bro. If you can. Spend money on an air mattress, bro. You can buy a bed, bro. Bro, I swear to God, bro, I bought a mattress for 50 bucks, bro. <laughs> I bought a whole bed set while I was in the NBA in Atlanta, bro, for a mattress. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we talking about, bro? It was a hundred dollars. The whole they thing. They might not have a hundred dollars. I swear to God, they got it was, <laughs> She said it was 22 niggas living in the house. You said they didn't handle motion. <laughs> nigga, somebody gotta get a job. Somebody gotta do something. 22 niggas. Nah, if, come on, bro. Respect to everybody in this situation, but somebody gotta make a play. Man, somebody gotta do something, bro. So 22 people. <laughs> if we gonna say Chris Gardner had to have some holes on deck, 
<laughs> Nick's gonna have some motion. Twenty two people. Listen, bro. This from disclaimer. Hey, listen. Disclaimer, please, Mike. They had to eat too. It's yes, 22 bro. Niggas. Do you want an air mattress or you want food? You need to put gas in the car or you want an air mattress? Come on, 22 bro. Twenty two people. Somebody gotta have some hustle, bro. Somebody bringing in five hundred, bro. Let's first. First of all, let's get the bed straight. They gotta eat. <laughs> they gotta eat, bro. <laughs> This is a one-time Poor nigga thing. strategy one on one. This Tap is, in. Hold on, this is this is one this is one time thing. We're gonna get the bit. We ain't gotta keep fixing this motherfucker. We ain't gotta do this. It's a one time thing. We're gonna spend a hundred on the bit. Y'all niggas gonna chill out for this month. We not gonna eat for how long? <laughs> Y'all gonna because eat. we gotta get the match. We gonna eat, nigga. We done made we got Raymond noodles, nigga, on deck. Nigga, don't act like y'all ain't never did that. I grew up eating the Raymonds, motherfucker. You and them motherfucker stretch. No, you I grew up eating ramen too, but I grew up in a, a wealthy household. <laughs> I don't. I ate that by choice. No Glorilla. I'm just saying <laughs> over here. So respect. But I'm just saying they no, could have took saying. one of them months. Bro, we they could have took their time and got a bed, bro. They're talking about you fixing the air mattress, bro. It's out of pocket. Bro. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I, I might not have respect this normal to their grind, but cartoon growing up watching childhood, but eating in bed, no. <laughs> So I'm not gonna disrespect nobody who I'm don't have those. Yeah. My fault. Um, if you if you don't live like that, you got an air mattress. I'm just saying. <laughs> she said if she had 15 people living her crib or however many, she said somebody gotta have some hustle. They should have. Law yeah. of averages, but nobody trapping. Did nobody go <laughs> to the league. And you live in Memphis, don't nobody sell drugs. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I'm just saying so, Okay. <laughs> this is... I want to move on. <laughs> no, no, no. But I have a question. This is Glorilla. We love you. We just confused. That's it. Yes. That's enough for you. In the household, when is it out of pocket for us to, for us to be poor? How many kids or people in the household is like, all right, y'all, one of us got to make it shake. Is a family of four... I'm saying, uh, first of all, no disrespect to anybody that's going through a situation, but there I need to go. know how old the people were. And when he uh, had that's, people, what I, that I, that's what I was getting. So if to. I'm a boy and, like she said, she was 15, at, at 13, I'm getting a job, bro. Damn. Um, if you're a 16 year old boy in the house, are you sleeping on the hardwood floor? Nigga, hit the block. Nigga, or he all my best Donald friends worked in high <laughs> No, all my best friends worked in high school. Oh, yeah, well, I'm hey, saying. Yeah. Job permit. Trey, Once I Trey had a school. job at shit, 12. You go Nigga. cut some grass at 11. Bro, I, had, I, I worked, 11. bro. I pushed carts, bro. Shout out to my That's what I'm saying. I would have never... That's what I'm saying. You could get $100, bro. I worked. I pushed carts, bro. That's not that easy, bro. Oh, I did it. I worked. I ain't, they you got were it. fortunate, bro. Shout out to Lil Daddy, bro, for giving Niggas you a can job, get jobs, bro. bro. You got a job by default. You were not qualified, bro. Nigga, Meyer. work at Meyer. Nigga, I was qualified. <laughs> you were qualified to work at Meyer, Meyer, bro. I was a court pusher, Shout out to Lou Senior, bro, for giving my nigga. I don't I even like, know if he know how to fill out an application at that age, bro. Nigga, I know how to spell my name. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I know saying? my social security number, what race you? What race you checking? <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I'm Dominican. <laughs> Damn, Cardi B. <laughs> uh, El Papi <laughs> <laughs> me and Fat Joe. Man, y'all in the pocket, <laughs> man. We love everybody that's going through something. Get well hey, soon. Hey, man, if you're going through it, man, hope you get out of it real soon, man. Man, facts. I ain't well, need no this disrespect. Well, I, just feel like, I just feel like, bro, you can have, if there's that many people in there, you can hustle. Hey, man, if we said Chris Garner had to have some hoes somewhere to stay, bro, <laughs> if it's 20 niggas in the household, somebody get it cracking. That's all we saying. That's all I'm saying. But shout out <laughs> to her, though. She did it, though, for her family. Nah, yep. yeah, she made it. For and she take care of her family, though. Yeah, that's she's taking care of everybody, so that's that's dope. Speaking of families, his lineage been good, but it just got even better. Shout out to Coach Cal. Woo. Everybody thought Kentucky was going to fire him. <laughs> yeah, he fired, he fired them. <laughs> oh, ain't that a bitch, everybody? Nigga, you were headlining. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy he's gone. I'm so fucking happy he's gone from Kentucky. Y'all so, about to see what it feel like. Yeah, it's going to be hard finding a real coach. Y'all disrespected Cal for all them years. And granted, he definitely did not get the championships y'all thought he was supposed to get. But y'all are not about to fill that job with somebody who can recruit as well as Coach Calipari. Y'all about he to be won a championship set. there for 15 years. He won a chip. Man, it's coaches that be at that school for 30. How long fucking time has I been at Michigan Shit, State? Jim Beheim only got one. That's my guy. Shout out to Carmelo Anthony. Hey, yeah, how long time has I been coaching at Michigan State? Uh, since the Reagan days? Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker ain't questioned him one time. He got, what, one chip? You say he been there since Ronald Reagan? <laughs> Damn near, bro. <laughs> well, he got one chip, right? <laughs> Uno. <laughs> Nobody questioned him. But somehow, yeah, Kentucky, the 
UK, they question him. That's cool, bro. Oh, y'all about to see how it feels to, to actually have to recruit. <laughs> yeah, ain't and nobody going to Kentucky no more. Who who would take that job? I would not want that job after Calipari because them fans ain't forgiving enough to like to realistically deal with the rebuild at that school. Nah, ain't nobody, man. You're going to have to get Billy Donovan, the only one that could take that job because he got a history, a winner. Mm-hmm. He been in the league and people going to respect what he got going. You know what I mean? He can bring other recruits there. Look, I coach DeMar DeRozan. I coach this guy, this guy, Russell Westbrook, Kevin Durant. I can say that. Yep. And you can respect that. But and I won at this level already. Yeah, this I is light work. Back to back champ. That's the only dude that like can really do that. Anybody else is like, whatever. They gonna be like there when they had mm-hmm. Galepsi, whatever that nigga name was. Billy Galepsi was in there pissing people off, yeah. pissing Johnny Meeks off. Trash. So uh, yeah, Billy Diamond is the only one y'all got that can fill that void. Um, I think the other coach that could fill the void for that team, they could probably they I poured it that they've offered him money. Damn. UConn, but I mean, when they win tonight, I don't think there's any reason for him to leave UConn. I don't think the UK is a bigger school than UConn. I, I know it's a bigger school, but from a program standpoint, why would he leave UConn, a uh, historic yeah, program? He built something nice over there. I think... Um, <clears throat> is Rod Strickland still there? I don't know where Rod at, my dog. Mm-hmm. You, you yeah. know, Rod probably go with Cal go. Arkansas ain't a bad play, though. Nah, he got bread Down for that. the road... What y'all say? Five M's for the NIL? Five M's Dog, for the NIL. You're straight. <clears throat> Benville, Arkansas is the home founding place of Walmart. Yeah. That's why he has five straight. Oh, he about to have. Shout out to Fayetteville. <clears throat> Arkansas hey. about to be turned up. His house going to be so big in Arkansas. Bro, he about to he about to be the white version of Deion Sanders down there, bro. Man, what? I can't wait to go to a Razorback game. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas about to be Razorback fans for no reason. Yeah, just because. That's lit, though. <clears throat> All the people that went to Kentucky in the Cal air, they going to fuck with Arkansas. It's crazy because nobody went to Kentucky because they like Kentucky. They went because of Coach Cal. Yeah, we, yeah, that's the biggest. And that's one thing you said that was really smart. Like you said, that that older era, the Tubby Smith era on down, yeah. that's a, I love Kentucky shit. Yeah. The Cal era was, I love Cal. Yeah. Yeah, because like, Rondo still preached that. Nah, fuck that. It's yeah. Kentucky, we eat, sleep, shit, Kentucky, blah, blah, blah. These kids, it's like, nigga, one and done, pulling up. But he grew up there. And also, um, I seen Rex Chapman recently. Shout out to Rex Chapman. He was like, him and Tubby didn't get along. Uh, Rondo was down there, and he damn near transferred. And he would have Denver transferred to Louisville. Because, you know, he's from Louisville, but yeah. he's Kentucky through and through. That shit different for him. Yeah. yeah. But John Wall and them, I would not be surprised if we see a fucking Red Razor back there. them niggas, nah, they went, they <clears throat> fuck with Cal. None of them went to yep. Kentucky because they fuck with Kentucky. They fucked with Cal. Like, Drake don't fuck with Kentucky. He fuck with Cal. Like, you know what I mean? So his recruiting doesn't change. Oh, no, nah, it's about to get even more lit. He got what? five He gets better. Okay, he got I was open, asking. He got an open purse. He's also back in the state that doesn't have a professional team. Yeah. So they're going to meet everything to him, to whatever the fuck he want to do. They going to be grateful for the fact that they got lit teams, even if they lose in the first round tournament. They're not going to care. Nigga, we relevant. Yeah. Yeah, because hey. their they football program was just the only ones holding it down for a while. You look at the SEC now, like a lot of those schools is that were football schools, like Alabama getting to a Final Four. Like, they, hey, man. It's it's coming dual threats now. It's been like that for a couple of years, but it's kind of getting real obvious now. Yeah. Damn, Arkansas ain't a bad place to be. Nah, man. I, I just seen Joe Johnson. I never seen him say anything. He on Instagram <laughs> like, "We back, we back." So you already know he got he got alumni from Arkansas who hype. Yeah, I'm sure Pat Bev gonna talk shit. That's where Pat, Pat Bev went too. Yeah, they, Come on, this ain't forty hype. minutes of hell. This is different now. <clears throat> about to be so. Tired. Arkansas is cool. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Arkansas is in heaven, nigga. They have $5 million to spend with John Calipari. And I think that John is going to get the old band back together because Kenny Payne, you know what I'm saying, he obviously, he got free time. Bro, he going to get his gang back together. They going to get the kids they supposed to get. I think he should adapt. I think he needs to probably start being more aggressive in the transfer portal because I'm sure that Arkansas is going to probably want him to win more. Like they gonna want to win, but I think he can't just keep doing the one it does. Nah, he gonna get some. He gonna get some older players, but then he gonna get them. He's still gonna get them top five stars. Yes, he sir. coming with the bag. So think about it, if he got five million to spare, he gonna get some old heads. Mm-hmm. Get them a hundred, hundred and fifty, but get them young pups, them stars. Yeah, I got five hundred for you. Let's see. Coming for a year, we got five hundred. <clears throat> get you, get you ready for the league. He taking DJ Wagner with him. Uh, probably. I wouldn't be surprised. But if Billy get the UK job, can he compete? 
I think Billy Donovan is going to be able to compete because he just going to put a team together that's going to always be able to compete. And UK, I mean, they got money too, obviously. We coming from a big program. They ain't no bottom feeders, so. I don't see them just plummeting like <clears throat> that. Nah, they That's still going to be asking. Kentucky. They Kentucky, bro. They always going to be Kentucky. But they going to go through some slides. They going to have a... They ain't going to be Louisville bad, but they going to be... <laughs> going to have a little... Nobody can be Louisville bad. <laughs> Louisville won. How many games y'all went in two years? <laughs> hey, and I don't never, and I don't never kick the back end of my black man, but God damn it, Kenny Payne... <laughs> I ain't blaming you Kenny P, bro. Oh, games. I am. That nigga, I am definitely... I'm not blaming... I ain't blaming Kenny P, man. What? Look what he did, bro. Even Chris Mack was bullshitting and we still never made a tournament. These fucking kids, bro. I ain't blaming... Kenny P a good nigga, bro. I ain't blaming him for that, bro. Nah, nah. Nah, I ain't blaming him, but they was saying... Oh, I am. I wonder what my boy Nelly gonna go back to do. It's a good question. Um, I saw that... Hey, I mean, shit, you know the coach is your man's. I know Pat. Shout out to Pat. Nah, nah, man, nah, Pat gonna get them motherfuckers rolling. I was happy we got Pat. I'm like, hey, at least I know we're gonna have a competitive team with Pat. Uh, you think he's gonna keep Nolan? I think he should. Uh, I think he definitely should. I, he's the best recruiter we had. Hands off. He's <clears throat> our best recruiter. Nah, but Pat, Pat a good guy. He's gonna get on rolling. But that's fire for Cal, though. Like, we didn't see this coming. We, I mean, we did. But we was like, damn, Cat. I mean, Cal gonna, you know what I'm saying, fuck around another year or two, get some more people. They're gonna forget. Nah, he's like, nah, fuck Kentucky. I to run this up now. I feel that. And he in the SEC. That's the crazy part. Is he going to have to see them twice a year? They're going to boo the shit out of Cal the first time he played them. Man, they're going to go crazy. I hope all his I hope all his kids come back. Oh, that's going to be that hard. Game. That'll be hard. Damn. College basketball, man. Interesting enough. Obviously, we record now. Uh, who y'all got national championship, man? Purdue, UConn. I saw that Terry Crews did the motivational speech for the opening, and I wondered why the fuck Terry Crews is motivating anybody. Terry Crews, nigga, on Friday? Yes. Man, oh, he, let Damon. he let a nigga touch him, man. He got nothing to say about him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, he get to say that, but I... That <laughs> <laughs> nigga done been in movies. He done been in the NFL. All kind of shit. Hey, but he opened, up, what? he opened up the all montage right. talking about his, his playing career. You know what I'm saying? This shit's favoritism. <laughs> Everything oh. I say is, hold on, me, he can't say that. <laughs> He did let somebody touch him. <laughs> I don't give a fuck no more. Y'all got it. He post, he post I don't want to hear shit. He ain't supposed to beat him up. <laughs> but I'm out of pocket on the show. Hey, sad, I ain't going to hold you. The score right now at halftime is <laughs> 30 to 36. Hey, Brayden. You my, my boy Brayden Smith. Win or lose, Nasty. You know I'll fuck with you. I need a signed jersey, bro. Hey, you were a popular favorite ever. You said I got a homegirl that look like exhibit. And Luis <laughs> cut to Jeff face. <laughs> it was funny as shit. I really like, I really hey, do. Who is the homegirl? Because a lot of people, no. people ask me who the homegirl was. Shout out to my dog, K Sam. We talked. Like You said K Sam looked like exhibit. No, 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 hell no. She asked me. I knew like, it was her. No. Nah. <laughs> See, I told you, because I'll be, you no, know, P, shout out to K Sam. She asked me, said, who is who looked like exhibit? I was like, P, said. you out of pocket. <laughs> and then somebody asked K Sam hit me with the, is it her? I said. That's why we like this. But yeah. Somebody what, said what, exhibit what? now or exhibit then. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely pit my rod. Exhibit. Who is she get her hair braided like who is sometimes? Get their hair braided. You wouldn't know her. She you wouldn't know her. It's she, no, well, she has she been to a teen Halloween party? She was probably Ooh. exhibit at that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Did she have a D shirt on? <laughs> That nigga had some creatures in that motherfucker. I did. <laughs> Way. <laughs> what kind of creatures? <laughs> the ones that need to... Oh, you just came as you today. <laughs> he had no costume. <laughs> Come as you watch at the Halloween party. It's crazy. Nah, man, God what else, did. What else, what else we talking about, man? Terry with Cruz, get well soon, man. I know that nigga played with you, bro. Get well soon, man. <laughs> Facts, bro. Should have beat his ass, man. He, nigga, we saw you beat Damon. He was supposed to beat his ass, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You that damn strong, bro. You fucking go inside that man's head. Yeah. So it's a weight requirement now. <laughs> I go side of my head, bro. <laughs> We're getting out of that conversation <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> hey, man. Why are all the old players hating on Caleb Clark? Because they stupid. Every game that Caleb Clark played in this tournament has been the highest game ever watched. Oh, shit. <laughs> Until the next game she plays. Oh, Spill this fucking drink on me. This we loud ass about this earlier, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, go ahead. Get nah, your shit on, bro. Thing, but I'm saying we was talking about this before the show. 
Like, they played this all wrong, bro. Terribly, bro. They were supposed to gas this shit. This is why people don't watch this shit when y'all leave college. Women's sports, because y'all hating on the best thing that's going to happen to the W bro. for a long time. Hey, listen. In respect to Diana Taraz, in respect to Sue Bird, obviously they legends. But that UConn bias, like the bias that I seen in that broadcast, so they was kind of like, nah, I will fuck with Caitlyn. Like, you can feel it. Yeah. And then they was like, nah, we'll take Paige. Need that. I get the home cooking. I respect it. But like you said, they had an angle to where everybody could have embraced Caitlyn, even if it's for selfish reasons, yeah. to push the brand forward. But they should know her like she weak, and she don't say shit. I think it's so weird that she gets so much hate, bro. Bro, they did that all backwards. I posted, this is y'all Michael Jordan. How Michael Jordan came to save the league when after Larry and MJ... Diana Tarazi, Sue Bird, y'all, Larry, MJ, whatever. I mean, Larry and Maggie Johnson. Then MJ came, and he saved the league and took it to a whole nother marketing stream, like, had mm-hmm. people overseas and all that shit. This was Caitlin Clark. Is y'all MJ. Y'all was supposed to pub, like, oh, no, nah, she one of them ones, man. We da 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 Yeah, she going to come in a W, man. I can't, I'm excited for her to get here. I can't wait to watch her play, uh, play against her. They was over there hating. Bro, hating hard as fuck. Man, I'm like... Like, what? I get it. I get it. It's your homeschool. It's fuck her right now. But it's just like, dog, she can do so much. She don't have to be the best. Everybody's like, it's different when you get to the league. Well, obviously. Hey. Obviously. But guess what? She won't be triple team in the league either because when she comes to the fever, she's playing with Kelsey. And she's also playing with the Leah Boston. And she's going to get some open shots. Hey, y'all going to hate her ass. Man, they should have just gassed it. Even if they, like, going to kill her when she get there. Like, we're going to kill her. We're going to dog her. Yep. That's cool. You keep that to yourself. Get everybody to watch. Like, when she come over, she going to take over the league. Like, she one of them ones. I'm so excited for her to be playing. I, I ain't going to lie. I'm <clears throat> I'm excited to play. Like, gas it up so we would want to watch. But you, nah, she weak. Nah, nah, nah. Now we like, uh, that's crazy, think bro. she good. You know what I mean? And it's like, that, it's so crazy because it's just like, she really be hooping, y'all. Like that's it. They, she would just really be hooping. I fumbled. just had it because she don't. She don't bother nobody. They bro. fumbled that man. They fumbled that. And any other time that y'all can make it some right stuff. Yes, we understand the white privileges in play. Why some of the things that she's able to market, we get that. But some of this stuff, nah, bro. She just be killing. And y'all don't like it. But yeah, I think some likes. of the top players in the league should step up and you know say, hey guys, let's embrace the new and up and coming. It don't even got to be about Kaylin. Gas the new class coming in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She got an already blew it with Kaylin. Now just bring all of our peers into one. But hey, y'all, let's, you know, basically like we're excited to see, you know, the rooks, or at least let us see y'all working out with them in the summer. Man, they Little already, shit like that. They already hate Angel. Like mm-hmm. they made out obvious, like she was sad. I'm just like, all right, if we just gonna pick and choose like this, that's weird. Everybody that we want to see going to the league that we excited to watch from NCAA tournament, they hating on them. So it make you be like, ah. But it's just bad yeah. for their their income. Yeah, but it's like your TV fucking up your TV dollars, all kind of shit that like, you could yeah. be getting. To. Y'all, y'all hating because she got deals and nobody like man. We don't want like they make me not want to. Ah, they gonna probably stall her out. She don't get to shoot that many shots. Oh, that you know what I mean? Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like that. Like ah, they gonna be hating a little bit. Yeah. She ain't gonna be able to be herself. She probably ain't gonna shoot that much because she probably gonna be like. I want people to like me. Eh. And I genuinely believe her when she said she didn't find out about the Ice Cube shit until we did. Of course. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she don't really be tapped in, She bro. said that fucking Cleveland looked like an amazing place because she's from Des Moines, Iowa. She's like, so much to do here. Nigga, she barely probably don't even got internet, bro. <laughs> like, uh, she, she just hooping be chilling, bro. Almost... <laughs> Damn, near. <laughs> See them jeans? <laughs> But that's crazy. Bitch, she don't be on shit, bro. It's like, oh. Man, I said enough. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Yeah, they, I got, I got butchered. Got a left handed. Yeah, yeah. She, they, they fun with that, bro. Yeah, it it kind of made me upset though, bro. Because it's like I know y'all about to hate on her when she get there. It sucks. Man. And we all want to watch the WNBA, but y'all make it so Erica, hard. Take a stance. They make it so hard. Oh, she better bro. pick. She better pick this. Hey, look, Caitlin Kay, Clark. It's a nap, goddammit. <laughs> we, I'm so happy she's here. E. Weez better put her arm around her. Y'all better become best friends. Embrace. And also, shout out to South Carolina for winning the national championship. Um, I know that gets buried. We need to respect that. Don Stanley went crazy. Yeah, yeah she, want, she the GOAT. Is that number three? Come on, that's man. A, that's three chips, man. Damn, bro. Yeah, she the GOAT. She right after Gino. 
I love how they played that though all year, bro. Yeah, they just they was yeah. chilling, bro. Come on, bro. Lost all her starters and came back undefeated, bro. That's I told tough. y'all she had about eight motherfuckers. When we talked about that Caitlyn shit, I'm like, nah, she got about eight motherfuckers. This is Caitlyn's highlighted, but they really like she got a squad, bro. Oh, obviously, yeah, she's she, it, she got a squad. Yeah, she's a big reason that she needs to be celebrated. Three ships is more, bro. tough, bro. She ain't been coaching that long. Nah, come on, bro. That's what hard. I like about it though, like they stay humble because. If I was that one girl that they wasn't guarding last year, mm-hmm. you know how fraud I would have been in that game? Yeah. I would have been talking bad to Caitlyn. She was playing good. Ripped her half court with the but light. But she wasn't even going crazy. She was just locked in, doing her job. I'm like, yeah, couldn't have been me. <laughs> I would have been out there, yeah. <laughs> nah, I would have called sure. her everything in a book. Wave me off again. <laughs> Watching that game made me respect Caitlyn even more, though, bro. I watched some of the games, but that game, I'm like, bro, she has to do so much. This is, nobody has that much energy. Like, and listen, bro, I watched that UConn game. <clears throat> there were so many missed assists for Caitlin Clark in that game, bro. Like, she created so much offense, getting doubled, getting fucking hounded, face guarded. Even when she had the ball for two seconds, made the right read every time. Bro, she's elite. Shout yeah. out to Kayla, man. Shout nah, out to Kayla. But, but, hey, shout Don out to Kayla, man. Don Staley's the one. You the yeah. goat. The one. And she was fresh as fuck on the sideline. She been getting hated on, too. Weird shit. Weird, bro. I don't understand She it. the Louis Vuitton god. I be peeping mm-hmm. nasty. I see you. I we see definitely. you. South definitely. South Carolina need to get to Nike, though. Yeah, Under Armour. Shout out to you Under Armour, but we need that. Nike. Hey, I wear them motherfuckers, though. <laughs> Back to that. Mm. I know Joel and B left y'all, but I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you a fuck with Under Armour? Man, they pay me. Hell yeah. I mm. rock them motherfuckers there. Y'all rock Steph Curry every single day. That's, that's a wicked shit. Y'all sign a lifetime deal with y'all. That's a wicked shit. I need 150 a year. I sign a lifetime deal with them. Steph, Steph need to go to the drawing table with them. I can't even be mad at Steph because that nigga had a Nike presentation and it wasn't even for his name. They had the wrong right. name Come up on, there. That, I, was, that was. I, I can't was. be mad at Steph. No, I love how Steph did branded his shit because... He built the enterprise off that shit. People were just buying it because of Steph. I'm talking about the shoe itself. Like, kids want a Steph Curry shoe because, hey, mom, Steph wears these shoes. Cool. But that's, that shoe as an adult... Out of pocket, bro. Now, the people who are asking the parent to get those shoes are typically don't look like us. What they look I, like? <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> December snow. <laughs> it's a lot of... I worked in Under Armour. I saw them. <laughs> yeah, it, true, true. White kids do, <laughs> do soak it up for sure. But yeah. it's it's a lot of mixed kids, too. It's a lot of Jadens and Jalens, for sure. Oh, uh, Jaden. Why is that everybody that's mixed name, though? Because their mom got that Bob haircut. <laughs> this is this is the black and white relationship. Look, Jaden and Christian. Mama white, daddy dad, black. So their mom is a white, white nurse. nurse. That's the, what Boosie said. Their dad probably was a former athlete at one of these white colleges. Okay. Shout out to Pat Their mom, daddy. you know, she listens to, she does TikToks, and she got a... <laughs> Cash money, nine nine, you know, you know what I mean. What's the whole story? She got that. I don't know. Probably Hurricane Chris. <laughs> but she has that Bob haircut with those little curls. What is it? I'm a white mom. I Every have black time. kids haircut. And when bro started the team T, he had a lot of mixed mamas in there, and I'm like, she definitely. That's her son right there. I Shout had out him, to you did. Yeah. Shout out to Trace. Okay, Trace. Yo, Trace was a mix. He had a couple. But Trace is just more than nobody. His <clears throat> mom got the haircut. Clearly. Black guys. For sure. So they got a certain look, though. Oh, respect. Yeah, they got a certain look. For sure. Shout out to Team Tig. Shout out to them guys. Yeah. I, I, ha- I have a lot more to say about that, but I'm a, that's not that's for, for Patreon. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, for Patreon. I mean WAP. But. <laughs> Cause. Catch us on WAP. WAP coming soon. WAP. My, my niggas was destroying their moms when this, uh, this Team T program first started. What? <laughs> that was a tryout? <laughs> <laughs> How hey. you spell it? Hey. W-H-O-P. <laughs> nah, what Cardi say? <laughs> the real WAP. <wop. laughs> what a start? <laughs> WAP. <laughs> Oh, I want to say my nigga name so bad, no, but I ain't telling today. It ain't me. <laughs> so. My niggas was in that bitch trading. What's up, boy? That be trading LeBron and Kyrie. 
Phil Handy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff had some, a lot of Phil Handy. <laughs> my nigga Chris Brinkley. <laughs> niggas was handy for sure. I would. I ain't gonna say my niggas is in situations that they ain't finna walk down these aisles here. So. Damn. Goddamn. <laughs> Who about to get married, bro? Well, niggas said, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm just saying niggas about to get married. Oh, oh, and niggas. Lou. Niggas do. <laughs> on the last one. Motherfucker said, damn, Brad was hitting the powder at Cathedral. <laughs> we heard Jeff say shit. Hold on, man. This is, all, said, this, this is all jokes, by the way. I said, I told y'all that wasn't me. Hey, because Jamar, <laughs> I said, they said, Bubby hit the group chat this morning talking about Jamar eating pork. <laughs> hey, I think it's a smash. Mark said, I ate pork for 10 years. Stop playing with my name. <laughs> All right, Shout my smart, man. My fault. <laughs> we use our platform to respond to our friends. Oh, oh man. Oh, my bad. Y'all dumb. Oh, it's crazy. No, but you know what we was talking about earlier before we get out of here? Uh-huh. We was talking about how, like, about LeBron's situation. Mm-hmm. And I was talking about how I got my pops and somebody that showed me the ropes, gave me the guidelines go. to how to be a just a man in general. Yeah. And how much respect we got for Bron. Like, damn, he just grew up with his mom and, like, knowing his situation. And for him to, like, never be in trouble to go through what he's going through, be the person that he is in the player years, I was mm-hmm. like, damn, he damn near got to be the GOAT. Bron's the GOAT because he did all the things that you just said. He had the most ridiculous standards to live by and surpassed all that shit. Yeah. Fuck the championships. Deion Sanders, too. Same yeah. situation. That's crazy. I couldn't imagine... Like, I, I got so much respect for people who grew up with, like, single moms or don't have their dad in their life like that or whatever. Because for me, I couldn't imagine yeah. not having my pops or, like, not doing that shit because I don't even know. I don't, like, I wouldn't have that guidance. Like, I don't think I had a discipline myself just to do that shit. And yeah. to hear people do that, that shit is crazy. You got the game for real. Yeah. And from Not somebody who team. really did it for real. Yeah. He yeah. was blessed for sure. Yeah, that's why I respect sure. people whoever whoever went through that situation where mm-hmm. they didn't have a male figure in their life and they was able to overcome it and be like what phenomenal in whatever field they chose. It's crazy. And especially with LeBron to have that much hype at that age, yeah. bro. And to maintain that without crashing out. We know so many niggas that crash out with less expectations and less opportunities. Yeah. Bro, he had, like, the biggest weight on his back ever in the history of Denver in the sport of basketball. Like, like, just not to even sign with, like, Reebok when they show you a $10 million check when you a kid at 18 and you weight your options because you're like, nigga, I know if you giving me $10 million, I know Nike probably going to at least give me that. And bro. just to hear everybody out, like, I'm thinking at 18, I seen that $10 million check with my friends. Oh, we balling out. I would have yeah. snatched that mother so quick. I would have been in some answers. Quick. Career. He had good people around him, though, so no disrespect to, you know, shout out to Drew and them. But I'm Coach saying, Drew, as a, but... As an 18-year-old kid... He making to, them decisions. To pick those people yeah. around you? Like, that's crazy. I know yeah. people, we gloss over this a lot because that was his homies, but on the lowest of keys, if you look at it, that nigga built an empire. Yeah. He built an empire as a teenager. Yeah, that's crazy. He changed a lot of people's families' trajectories <clears throat> off one simple decision, bro. I don't think that shit can be duplicated. It can't, bro. It can't. Not with the pressures he had to deal with, bro. I'm just talking about niggas building that type of... Ah, uh, niggas can do it. It's doable. Like, hey, From that yeah. young? I'm saying, because hey, like, everybody goes to the league now at 19. Like, if hey, A.E. and them wanted to, like, put their hand, mans on and tell them to go to college and do this, take these steps and steps... They seen it from Braun. They can take the blueprint. Facts, but I'm talking about Joe. People got to be willing to be disciplined. Maverick and them put in that work. For I sure. I think a lot of people overlook that shit. Maverick and all them niggas, bro, they really mm-hmm. grinded to get there. Braun, of course, bro, helped in so many ways. But them niggas worked so fucking hard to get where they are, But bro. I'm telling you, I think if you, if you can see your man's about to be the number one pick, I don't think it's hard to go to school. I'm just being honest. Not not saying Maverick and them did. I'm saying now, like yeah. following Brian Brew playing. If yo, if I'm Anthony Edwards' friend, and he say, I know he going to the league. Like, oh, he's number one pick, and he like, hey, go to school for four years, get your degree. I want you to be my agent, nigga. I, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> like, yeah. it ain't gonna be like, nah, G. I don't know, no, nigga. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I, and he's not discrediting Maverick and them at all. No, but what no. he's saying is just like. 
because of LeBron, we see a successful movement to where yeah, they got I can build generational wealth with my niggas. Yeah. Everybody just got to be tapped in. Yeah. Like you said, he gave him the blueprint. He was definitely blessed because he was around hustlers too. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. A lot yeah. of times when they, a lot of these young niggas growing up, they growing up with their niggas and they from the trenches. Yep. Yeah. So their niggas don't even have that stability yep. to see that through a lot of times. That's what I'm saying. Fact. That's kind of hard for... Like, what's Rich Paul was already hustling jerseys and shit. Them yeah, niggas always yeah. had a get money mentality. That's what I'm saying. Like, to have a group of friends, that's why I appreciate my niggas I grew up with. Mm-hmm. We all had the same kind of mentality. Like, nigga, one of us got to make it. everybody work ethic was crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't think a lot of kids be having that these days. Nah. No. Especially not with that much to lose on the yeah. table. He had a lot to lose. So it can be done. I just be trying to see, like, damn, who's the next? They shit was documented, of course. Like, Brian definitely built an empire. I just was like, damn, who next to do I mean, some shit like that? Any close. player that's coming to the league now with that got potential to be number one, two, three, four pick, y'all yeah. should be doing the same thing Brian doing. Yeah. Yep. Y'all should take his whole thing. Because that, that cancels out having to take care of people. Whatever. Exactly. You giving them a chance to feed themselves. Like That's where your tax write offs go. Yeah, but they also gonna be working for themselves. No, nah, like, for sure. I'm just saying the I mean you ain't, ain't nobody gonna be rich, Paul. That's dead. <laughs> that ain't gotta do. Nah, he it's dead. Cause them number one picks probably signing the rich, but you can learn from them. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can still you know have your own motion. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And what's crazy is even on a micro level, I think a lot of people don't realize because I know it's hella taboo in our community to like talk about finance and combine finances yeah. for a common goal. There are plenty of people who work regular jobs that could combine resources or work together to buy things to get that shit. Like I remember once our family was talking about like combining money to buy, buy properties and stuff like that and have it in the family and make money. But then you sit around, it's just like, especially in our community, we don't want to talk about how much money we got. We don't want to talk about how much debt we got. Yeah. It holds us a, away from simple shit to where other races may not trip on that shit as much. Yeah. But it's definitely an opportunity because, like you said, niggas is getting to it at a young age, for sure. Yeah. That's why I can't understand Glorilla, but... <laughs> <laughs> full circle moment. Be here and tell the people where they can buy some merch yeah, at, man. said full circle moment. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't say full bed. But... So, <laughs> she was fucking Little House on the Prairie, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Glow. <laughs> Shop club520.com for your latest merch, man. I wonder if her, I think her shit gonna go platinum, though. What's that? I think Glorilla album gonna go platinum. I don't know about platinum, but I'm sure it'll do well. She got, it's summertime. I hope, I, hope it go, I hope it go platinum. I fuck with her, actually. The women running the rap game right now. I so. remember her performing with no shoes on and Dre's. Damn. I'm never gonna forget it. She can, ran on that stage, off, in a, bro. <laughs> with a velour outfit on. That's before the titties and the new teeth. Yeah, she came in there with a velour outfit on. Motherfucker teeth, sea walking, nigga. Then she kicked the motherfucking shoes off and cried. Where? And she started. That's a legendary song. moment. I'm a uh 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 bump me. I said, what shout the to fuck? Hey man, shout out to the shout out to Glow Up because we saw Sexy Red perform here, pregnant, barefoot, and the entire Lit. crowd went crazy. Lit. Yeah. Legendary movie. I, I think barefoot's a thing. If I you don't perform one of your first concerts barefoot, you ain't gonna make it. Damn. I told y'all about that barefoot shit. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, like, share, subscribe. Don't wear socks. We'll be back <laughs> next week. Yeah, <laughs>